All right, so we are going to look at sine and cosine graphs, which we've had a little look at. And so we're, first of all, we're going to look at a basic um, sine graph here. Okay, so y equals sine x. And we've noticed that if you, um, when we go around, if we notice when we went around the unit circle, it we went up to, so say we had, um, if we had, we went up to pi on two, we saw that sine was one. So we'll see the graph grow up. And then when we came back to pi, sine was zero, because remember zero was um, at 180. And then when we got to three pi on two, it was negative one. And then we, when we're back at two pi, it came back to one, uh, zero. So when, how long it takes to do one cycle, so meaning one up and down, that's called the period. So on a basic sine graph, the period is two pi, okay? And the amplitude, which the amp is how far high it goes from zero. So from zero up, it goes to one. So this one, and that's taken from this number here. So there's, we assume there's a one there. So this one's amplitude is one. It's gonna peak up at one and drop down to negative one. All right, now what we need to do when we're graphing is another thing we wanna really look at is working out the intervals. So I've sort of drawn them here, because if you look, we've got, we pretty much have four sections that are of interest, like points of interest. So if we start with zero, but then we hit the peak, the maximum, then we're back to zero, then we get to the lowest, the minimum, and then we go back. So you can see it's sort of divided into four sections, like the quadrants. So when we're graphing it, it's very, um, it makes it a lot easier and better if you work out what we call them the intervals. So if you mark on the graph on the axes, the intervals. So for the interval, the way you find the interval, you do the period divide by four. So you can see in this um, example, we would have had the periods two pi and we divide by four. So it ends up being pi on two. So you can see every half pi we're going up by and there's the interval. All right. So if we draw them, that, that makes it easy. We know we have to draw up to that point and down. So let's have a go at doing some. Okay. So, oh, sorry, we'll just repeat over. So when we have a basic sine graph, so sine graph, we're going to see this basic up down shape. Okay. And the period is two pi and the amp is one. So we've looked at all that and the, it goes down when we have the, sorry, it's written twice there. I don't know why. Um, when we have cosine, cosine's basic shape is here and it goes down and comes back up. So we start at the maximum and we go down. Now you can see it still takes two pi to do one whole pattern of it. And the highest value it goes up to is one in a basic one. And that's because there's a little one in front of that. Okay. Now the periods are still the same. If you have a look here, cause we would, sorry, the interval. So the interval on a cosine still the same. You do the period divide by four. So for this example, 2 pi divided by 4 equals pi on 2. So you can see it's going up these points of interest, like they're all at pi on 2. All right, so have a little look. And um, we talked about this the other day. So this number is going to give the amplitude. Uh, this number is going to affect the period because you do two, uh, 2 pi divided by whatever that number is. This number here will move the graph up and down and later next week we're going to see that this number moves the graph left or right okay all right so let's just get through um so here just summarizing you might want to just write down because i believe that bit's not in your notes and i think it's important to put the intervals and it makes when we do transformations so when we're moving them 
um, it will make it a lot easier if you've got the interval. So remember the intervals are the period divided by four. All right, so let's go practice. So we get this graph and they're saying, let's graph um, three sine um, of two feet up. Okay, so what we first, we will write down the amplitude. So what's the amplitude for this one? Um, sorry, Jack, your face is there. So I'm gonna ask you, Jack. No, he's gone. Anyone? Service, what was the question? <laughs> what's the amplitude for this graph here? Three. Yeah, good, three. So we've got three. So it's gonna peak up to three and down to three. So what you might wanna do when we're sketching it, what I would say is um, get your, once you've got your amplitudes, you know it's not gonna go out. So you just get your pencil and maybe draw your line, a nice like sort of faint line along those. Um, so I've gone three and negative three. It's just so I know I'm gonna go up to there and down to that. So I've just done that in there. Okay, now this number in here, so it's gonna tell me, help me find the period. So remember the period, so just go back to pen. The period is two pi divided by n, which is this number in front of the angle, or the, they sometimes represent angle with x. So in this case, it's two pi divided by two, so it's pi. So essentially what's gonna happen, just really quickly, you have, if you have up on your x-axis, the angle gets up to pi, because this is a sine graph, it's gonna get through it in, it's gonna do one cycle in pi time, okay? So if you had, now, so for there. Now it's important, we're gonna find, I said it's much easier if we find the intervals as well. So the intervals is the period, divide by four. So in my case here, it was pi was the period, divide by four. So we're gonna see those points happen at every quarter of a pi. Okay, so, but the only thing is, this is um, a radian value, okay? This is a radian value for the angle. And over here, they're telling us, this is telling us the domain so along our x-axis, they've given it in, the domain's in degree, okay? So we might wanna change our peri our interval or even our, and our period into degrees. So what's pi in terms of degrees? It would be, how many degrees is pi? Think of the circle, I'm sorry. 180, yeah. 180. Yeah, good, 180. And if you have a quarter of pi, how many degrees would that be? Pi on four would be 45 degrees. Would you agree with that? Half of pi, 90, yeah. yeah. Okay, so these intervals are gonna happen, all those points of interest are gonna happen after every 45 degrees. So what I know is it's one, two, three, four. They're where all those, um, um, that's where all the points of interest are gonna happen. Now they want us to go all the way up to 360. So we're gonna see this cycle a lot, yeah? So we just keep, but let's just do the first one to show, the first part to show you. So we know we've got the amplitude. We now know it's gonna take um, pi to get through it or 180 and we're gonna start off thing. And here's our point. So with a sine graph, it starts at zero, then it peaks up to the top amplitude, which is three, then it comes back to zero, then it comes down to negative three and back to 180. So if you look, I get this, um, I can see that it's um, doing this little pattern there like that. Okay, now they want it to keep going, we'd have to keep cycling through. So if you were, thinking about your um, intervals. So we can see it's happening every pi 45 degrees. So you can keep maybe, they've obviously been nice and they've drawn that up on our axes there. So then I'll just keep going. It goes up, comes down, down to here and down to there. So there is my um, 
graph. Now, just to be like really super careful in year 12 and they because they've said they've included saying in between those numbers but not including it because it doesn't have the equal to bit on it so we probably should have um our dots at the start and at the end we're gonna have an open dot um we're gonna have an open dot to indicate that okay so we're just a little bit exaggerated there like that okay boys so we'll just have that open because we know we're not going to include those because the formula says no all right so that's the first one so let's go and try another one all right so we are first gonna look at these and we're gonna find the amplitude now it doesn't matter that there's a negative for the amp it means we're gonna go up to two so the amplitude's two Let's find out what the period is. So the period will be um, 2 pi divided by the number in front of the angle. They've decided to represent angle with T. Doesn't matter. Just means this axis along here is T. Okay, and this one we call the function, whatever. Okay, so we're going to say 2 pi on um, 2 pi on 3. That's how long it's going to take to do one cycle but remember as I said best to find the intervals so that we know where all those little points are now the interval is the period divide by 4 so if you do 2 pi um, over 3 divided by 4 it'll end up being 2 pi on 12 which can simplify down to pi on 6 okay so it's pi on six, okay. If once we've got like the intervals, sometimes it's easier to change also our period to the same denominator. So, cause I wanna make it six. So I might say that's the same as saying four pi on six, just so I can see them as they climb, but it doesn't matter. So if you go through Let's do our intervals. So it's every pi on six. So if this is pi on a third down here, then half of a third is a sixth. So here's, that's the first one, that's pi on six. Then it goes to add another one, it'd be a pi on three. So one, two, three, four. So there's my interval. So this <laughs> graph is probably gonna be really um, on this page going to be super um, narrow but anyway let's go so we're going to go up to the amplitude I like to just you can just draw it in pencil I just reckon it looks a bit so you can be neat when you're sketching so draw two lines up on your amplitude just nice and faint now because this graph is negative a negative so remember we go the reverse way around uh, the negative graph so we'd be going the reverse way around this unit circle so if it's cosine normally cosine would start up at the max but if it's a negative it's the opposite so we're gonna go we'll start down at, oh, sorry um, we'll start down at the bottom What's it doing? Oh, I don't know anyway all right so we're gonna start down at the bottom here okay and we every interval we're going to go up so the cosine it starts at the bottom then it goes to the first um, goes to zero in the first bit then it goes peaks up to the top because we're doing negative it's going the other way around then it comes back to the zero and then after a full period it's back to the start so you can see sorry Oh God, this is bad. It goes like that, okay? And then if you um, you divide it up all your intervals and you keep going, they want us to go up to two pi. So two pi in terms of thirds would equal um, six pi on three, wouldn't it? Yeah? So, or uh, they've written two pi anyway. So we'll go all the way up there. This graph's gonna get shorter. 
Um, so we're just going to have to keep putting the, you put the points, um, okay, oh, sorry, it's very messy, isn't it, sorry, hopefully you're better at control, this is my best, um, oops, I've gone the wrong way, um, my best effort on the iPad, Ugh. like, <laughs> like that, sorry, so that's the cosine graph, once again, I should probably have, because they're not saying equal to there, let's just keep them open those dots down there okay the last first and last one um all right okay so is that all right so if it's the negative remember that it's the opposite you go down the opposite way so if you have a negative sign graph you're going to go down up like that first okay um all right, we've, we still have to go back to negative pi, which is over here. So we saw our intervals were pi on 6. So if this is negative pi on a third, halfway through there is pi on 6. So you can see you've got 1, 2, 3, 4. So it would revert back and do one cycle. So we would um, pop in those dots. So I'll go up down sorry now we've got to keep going to pi so keep going like that so we probably get where do we get to we get back up to here and then um back up to the top so we get like that oh god like that yeah so does that make sense so the period is just one of them so just like here so between 0 and 2 pi we see one peak one bit of the pattern the one pattern of cos because remember cos normally looks like that yeah but we've got a negative so we're going upside down Probably. yeah all right so let's do this one so here is the domain I should really check that so it means they want me to go from negative a half which we've got on our axes out here um, we've gone out and they want me to go up to two so we can we're covering it there and they're calling it um, T not X so we'll just call that negative T um, back there and then this is just uh, we we'll just call it the function okay all right so let's go look at our certain things so we first we if we look we want to find the amplitude which is this number here sorry I don't know why it's um it's done, um, it's written it twice when I've dragged it into this, this app. Um, okay, so the amplitude is 2. So we, you can see if we got our, um, yeah, we can see we want to go up to 2 and we want to just go down to 2. Oops, draw the line. Okay, so there we, that's where our graph's going to go. Let's look at our um, period. So the period equals 2 pi divided by this, which is pi. So this one ends up being 2. So it's just going to be a number. So we're going to see one full cycle done by 2. And if we think about the interval, remember the interval equals 2, the period divided by 4. Um, so it's going to be a half. So we're going to see these points at every half. So when you go half, then the next one will happen on the one, next one will happen on one and a half, and then we get to two. And then if we go backwards as well, so if we're at zero, we'll see our first thing happen at a half. All right, so this is a sine graph and it's positive. So we know the first thing we do is we go up and then we come back down to zero. Then we go, oh God, sorry, I should try to do a curve and then come back up like that. Now they want me to continue. So um, this would have gone down, curved down and stopped down there at negative um, a half. All right, so there's our graph. 
So it just helps to see where if you put the intervals, you know you've got to go up to there, down to there, and that makes it easier. Um, now, these had square brackets, so I can have a solid dot at each end, and that's fine. All right.